Forget everything you thought you knew about compact desktop PCs. For years, the Mac Mini has been a quiet workhorse, small, silent, efficient, but never the powerhouse you wanted. If you are a creative professional, a developer, a gamer, or just someone who wants the ultimate small desktop, you need to hear this. The next generation Mac Mini, the M5, is rumored to be so powerful, so revolutionary, that it could make the current M for Mac Mini feel obsolete the moment it arrives. And today, we are going to break down every leak, rumor, and insider scoop circulating about this beast of a machine. By the end of this video, you'll understand why waiting could save you hundreds of dollars and why the M5 Mac Mini might just redefine what we expect from compact desktops. Let's start with the heart of the machine, the Apple M5 chip. According to the leaks, Apple is taking a bold leap forward, building this chip on a third-generation 3 nanometer process, and some sources even whisper about an ambitious jump to 2 nanometers. For context, smaller nanometer nodes mean higher efficiency, faster processing, and less power consumption. This is not just a numbers game, this is a fundamental shift in performance. And the rumors are not stopping there. Apple is reportedly focusing heavily on AI acceleration, with the M5 chip promising a neural engine up to four times faster in GPU compute for AI workloads compared to the M4. Imagine training machine learning models locally, running large language models without breaking a sweat, or editing videos with AI-powered tools that render faster than real-time. For gamers, the performance boost could be just as impressive, graphics are rumored to be up to 45% faster than the M4. The M5's GPU architecture is reportedly being upgraded to a 10-core GPU with third-generation hardware accelerated ray tracing. That's a term we've mostly seen in high-end gaming PCs and consoles. The idea that this kind of power will fit inside a tiny, silent aluminum chassis is simply mind-blowing. Imagine having a machine that can handle heavy gaming, AI workloads, and creative software, all without taking up the space of a traditional desktop. The physics-defying efficiency of this chip is what's causing a stir across forums and deep web tech leaks. People are calling it a Mac Studio killer, and for good reason. The rumored performance of the M5 Mac Mini could rival machines that cost thousands more. Now let's talk about real-world upgrades, the features that actually make a difference in daily use. The leaks point to two major hardware improvements, Thunderbolt 5 and upgraded base storage. Thunderbolt 5 is expected to provide speeds of up to 120 gigabits per second, which is a massive jump over Thunderbolt 4. For anyone working with massive 8K video files, enormous photography libraries, or external SSDs, this means faster transfers, smoother workflows, and near-instant backups. This single feature alone could justify waiting for the M5 rather than buying the M for today. The second major change is storage. Historically, Apple has been criticized for keeping the Mac Mini base models limited in storage. The viral rumor now suggests that the base M5 Mac Mini will finally start with 512GB SSD, doubling the previous entry-level capacity. Not only is the size increased, but the speed of the SSD is expected to improve significantly. This is a game-changer for users who have been frustrated by bottlenecks on the entry-level M4. When you combine increased storage with higher GPU performance and AI acceleration, the value proposition of the M5 becomes extremely compelling, all while potentially keeping the price around $599. Speaking of value, let's discuss the M5 Pro variant. Leaks suggest that this version could feature up to 16 CPU cores and 22 GPU cores, which is workstation class power previously reserved for Apple's largest desktops. Imagine having this kind of computational strength in a device that can sit on your desk discreetly, silently, and elegantly. Apple's internal strategy appears to be pushing the Mac Mini into a category where it could become a forever computer, a machine you might not need to upgrade for five to seven years. This is revolutionary for the small desktop market. If these specs hold, the M5 Pro Mac Mini could literally challenge the Mac Studio in performance, while taking up far less space and potentially costing less. When will we see it? The release date rumors are starting to stabilize. WH. While early speculation suggested late 2025, the most consistent reports now indicate an early to mid 2026 launch, with a possible announcement during WWDC 2026 in June. This timing is critical for anyone considering a Mac Mini purchase today. Buying an M for Mac Mini just months before the M5 arrives could leave you regretting it, especially when the generational leap in performance and features is so significant. Waiting might be the smarter, more economical choice. Let's dive deeper into what this means for different types of users. 
If you are a creative professional, video editor, music producer, 3D artist, the AI acceleration combined with the upgraded GPU can drastically reduce rendering times. Tasks that currently take hours might now take minutes. Real-time playback of 8K footage, AI-driven color grading, and complex 3D model rendering could finally be seamless on a Mac Minisized device. For developers, especially those experimenting with AI, the ability to run large language models locally or train machine learning models quickly opens new possibilities without investing in massive cloud infrastructure. The M5 Mac Mini could truly bring professional-level computation to a compact form factor, at a price that's far more approachable than larger Mac systems. Gamers are not being ignored either. Apple has historically struggled in gaming performance due to GPU limitations, but the rumored 10-core GPU with hardware ray tracing could transform the Mac Mini into a small but mighty gaming machine. Indie developers, modders, and enthusiasts who prefer macOS now have a reason to reconsider Apple as a gaming platform. Imagine playing graphically intensive games with smooth frame rates and high fidelity, all from a machine that doesn't take over your desk. This could finally bridge the gap between casual gaming and professional-grade performance on macOS. The AI capabilities of the M5 are perhaps the most interesting aspect. Apple appears to be embracing on-device AI as a cornerstone of the new chip. The neural engine improvements could enable instant image and video recognition, voice processing, and predictive analytics, all locally. This is significant because it reduces reliance on cloud processing, increases privacy, and decreases latency for AI-powered workflows. Whether it's a photographer automatically tagging thousands of images, a music producer using AI for sound synthesis, or a developer running advanced neural networks, the M5 Mac Mini could change how professionals approach their daily tasks. Now, let's examine Thunderbolt 5 in more detail. Current workflows for high-end creators often hit bottlenecks when transferring multi-terabyte files to external drives or sending massive renders to monitors. With Thunderbolt 5, theoretical speeds reach up to 120 gigabits per second, which is nearly double the bandwidth of Thunderbolt 4. This could make multi-monitor setup smoother, allow for faster external GPU use if desired, and dramatically cut time for backups or large media transfers. In essence, Apple is not just improving internal specs, it's optimizing the entire ecosystem around the Mac Mini to create a fully professional workstation experience. Storage is another critical improvement. Moving from a 256GB to 512GB base SSD changes the entry-level experience dramatically. Users no longer need to worry immediately about external drives or expensive storage upgrades. With faster storage speeds also rumored, even boot times, application launches, and heavy workloads will feel snappier. For someone using their Mac Mini as a primary machine, this is arguably one of the most tangible and impactful upgrades. The design philosophy of the M5 Mac Mini remains largely the same, compact, silent, and elegant. But these internal changes are monumental. Apple is showing that performance no longer needs to scale with size. The Mac Mini has always been about efficiency and discretion, but with the M5, it may finally be a machine that can replace much larger, more expensive desktops without compromise. Let's also address pricing. While we have no official numbers, leaks suggest that Apple may keep the entry-level M5 Mac Mini around $599, the same as the M4. If true, this would make the M5 one of the best value propositions in Apple's history, considering the massive jump in GPU, storage, Thunderbolt, and AI capabilities. The M5 Pro variant, with higher core counts, will naturally cost more, but even here, the potential performance. Per dollar could outpace current offerings like the Mac Studio. For anyone looking to future-proof their setup, this is compelling. Of course, with all leaks, there is a risk. Apple could change specs, adjust pricing, or delay the launch. But multiple independent sources point toward these upgrades, and the consistency of these rumors across trusted leak channels suggests a strong probability. If even half of these specs are accurate, the M5 Mac Mini is going to shake the market. Professionals, creatives, and enthusiasts alike will have to rethink their buying strategy. Looking at the broader market, the M5 Mac Mini could reshape Apple's desktop lineup. Currently, the Mac Mini is often overlooked in favor of Mac Studio or iMac configurations. If the M5 delivers on these rumors, it could cannibalize the Mac Studio market, forcing Apple to rethink pricing and positioning. A powerful, compact desktop at a fraction of the size and price of a Mac Studio would appeal to a wide audience, from home offices to creative studios. The M5 Mac Mini could finally take the crown as the ultimate small desktop that does it all. We also have to consider future proofing. 
Apple's transition to its own silicon has always emphasized long-term support, efficiency, and performance. With rumored 16 CPU cores, 22 GPU cores, and advanced AI acceleration, the M5 Mac Mini could remain a competitive machine for five to seven years without the need for major upgrades. That is enormous in a tech world where computers are often outdated within two to three years. For anyone considering a long-term investment, waiting for the M5 could be a financially wise decision. As for gamers, developers, and creators, the combination of AI acceleration, high-end GPU, massive storage, and Thunderbolt 5 means one thing, versatility. This machine could serve as a single hub for gaming, content creation, AI research, and everyday productivity. The ability to handle such diverse workloads in a compact form factor is unprecedented in the Mac ecosystem. It could even challenge some of the high-end PC workstations currently dominating creative industries. The timing of the release is also strategic. With rumors pointing to early to mid-2026, Apple may be positioning the M5 Mac Mini to coincide with the next generation of software updates, AI tools, and macOS improvements. This synergy between hardware and software could amplify the performance gains and create a seamless experience that users notice immediately. In other words, this isn't just a new Mac Mini, it could be a completely new era for compact computing on macOS. Finally, let's discuss the psychological factor. The idea of waiting for the M5 builds anticipation and hype, and for good reason. With so many potential improvements, GPU speed, storage, AI, connectivity, early adopters could feel left behind if they purchase an M for Mac Mini today. The leaks create a sense of urgency, and the savvy buyer will recognize the advantage of waiting. Apple's strategy here seems clear, make the upgrade irresistible, and let the market respond to the excitement. In conclusion, the M5 Mac Mini is shaping up to be one of the most exciting Apple desktops in years. Whether it's the 45% faster GPU, 512GB SSD base, Thunderbolt 5 support, or advanced AI capabilities, every rumor suggests a machine that will redefine compact computing. For creatives, developers, gamers, and anyone who loves high-performance small desktops, the M5 could be the ultimate long-term investment. The question isn't just whether you should upgrade, it's whether you're ready to wait for the future. So here's my take, if you're considering buying an M for Mac Mini right now, I strongly recommend pausing and watching the M5 developments closely. The performance leap, AI integration, and workstation-level features could make the M5 Mac Mini a forever computer that lasts for years without needing an upgrade. Waiting could save you money and frustration, and position you at the cutting edge of Apple's compact desktop technology. Before we wrap up, I want to hear from you. Are you planning to wait for the M5 Mac Mini, or are you tempted to grab an M for right now? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I'll be reading every single prediction and discussion. And if you want to stay on top of all the latest leaks, updates, and expert analysis, make sure you subscribe, like the video, share it, and hit the notification bell. That way, the moment we get official news or additional leaks, you'll be the first to know. Thanks for watching. And as always, keep your tech expectations high. The M5 Mac Mini might just be the machine that changes everything about compact computing. Don't miss it.